Hi, I'm Brad from Thrive Themes, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the latest four updates that we have added to Thrive Suite. The first new feature that we have for you are new trigger conditions in Thrive Automator. The second is a new send webhook action, also in Thrive Automator. Then we have new pre-built video cover templates. And lastly, we're giving you the ability to style front-end notifications on your website. Next time you open Thrive Automator and you're preparing a new automation, as you'll remember, the first step is to pick what is the trigger? What is the reason why this automation would begin in the first place? And we have a whole list of different trigger types based on what Thrive Suite plugins you have installed. And remember, this is developer friendly. So third party plugins, they can register their own triggers in this area as well. But let's say we choose, uh, here we go, user enrolls in a course. This is my trigger. When I select this, we have something new that you'll see on the screen here. It says only trigger if the following conditions are met and that is preset to always trigger. Previously, you just pick enrolls in a course and you click done. And then if you wanted to filter which specific course, you would apply a filter and you'd be able to filter against the type of data available for that trigger. So in this case, we could choose course topic, uh, sorry, course title, and then I'd pick one of those courses. But instead, we've now brought the filters inside of the trigger area, so you don't need to do it in two steps. So if I remove that and I go back to my trigger, you'll see that right here, as I've chosen the trigger for this automation, as a user enrolls in a course, I can also set right here that we want this to be a specific course. I'll pick it right there. So what that tells me is that this automation will not begin until a user has enrolled in a specific course. In a way, the data still behaves the same way, but by grouping it together, this sets us up for some future changes to Thrive Automator, and you should just find that a little more intuitive to use. While I have Thrive Automator open, I'll take you through our second feature that we have just added, and that is a new send webhook action. When you're in Thrive Automator, uh, once you've set up your trigger, and you choose to add an action that should occur because of that trigger, you'll see a new option here, send webhook. When we select that, you'll be given the chance to map your data fields inside of a send webhook action. So what is a webhook? Well, webhooks are like the glue of the internet. It's a way that you can get data from any software application, including your website, and send it out to another service or application in a format that can be understood, interpreted, and can trigger another action on the other end. It's kind of like sending an email from one application to another. So it's not made to be human readable, even though webhooks are human readable. But um, by adding a send webhook action in Thrive Automator, it means that based on any trigger that you choose, anything that your users are doing on your website, you can now collect the data based on that action and send it wherever you want. So perhaps you would want to uh, pass user data to a CRM or some kind of tool that you use for logging um, information about your customers and what they're doing on your website. Maybe as they complete um, modules or lessons inside your online course, you want to build a like a reporting dashboard that looks at what actions they've taken and logs it so that when you interact with your customers again down the line, you're aware of how they've used your products. So you'd be able to use that through webhooks. Or maybe you want to send a message to your team on Slack, which is a business messaging software, or Microsoft Teams. Those can receive webhooks as well. Let me show you how it works and then it should start to make a bit more sense. I have a site here, webhook site. Here I have created a webhook destination, and this is just to see the data that gets sent through. So I have a webhook address. I'm going to copy this address. Now in Thrive Automator, where is it? Right here. I'm going to paste this webhook URL. So this is where I want to send my webhook to. I'm happy I'm going to leave it as a post in a form. That's like the structure of the data. And now I'm going to map some data for these fields. 
So first I might choose to add a field called email. And now I'm gonna choose a value for that. And I'm gonna take this from our dynamic data source. Now, what's available in the dynamic data source will depend on what type of trigger you have. So for this trigger, we have user enrolls in a course. It means we'll have two different data sets. First, we'll know who the user is, meaning we'll have access to the user data associated with that user on our WordPress site. Second, we will have course data. Which course did they enroll in? And what data do we know about that course? So I can find here, insert data. There we go, we have user data, and we have course data. So I'm gonna open user data and choose WordPress user email. And you can see we have a dynamic shortcode already added right there. Now I might add another one, which is which course. So I'm gonna call that course name. And as a dynamic field, we go into course data and I'll find course title. Great, so that's my two different uh, data fields that I'm including in my webhook. You can also set headers. These are used for security. It's a bit more of an advanced feature, but it's a way that uh, you can verify the source of the webhook and you can tell the recipient where your webhook is going to reject all the data in the webhook if it doesn't have the right security headers set. But we're gonna ignore that for now. So now with my webhook set up, I'm going to send a test. I'll give this a moment and it says webhook sent successfully. Great, so if I go back to my webhook receiver, I can see a new webhook has just come through. I'll click on that and we'll look at what data is available. I'll zoom in here on the right hand side. Now this was just a test webhook, so obviously uh, as a user, I haven't just enrolled in a course, so we have test data available. And look here, form values. I've just received the email address, and this would be the email name, and course name, and then the name of the course. This is, of course, just example data, but the values that get sent through would be dependent on what course that user has enrolled in and who that user is. Webhooks may feel like more of a feature for advanced users, but it blows open the door on all the different possibilities of what you can do with Thrive Automator, especially considering you can feed in any data based on any user action on your website and build this out in intelligent automations. So that's our second new feature that we have added in our latest release. Moving on to our third new feature, we have new designer-made video cover templates in the Thrive Visual Editor. Over this year, we've been focusing a lot of our efforts on features and improvements that will help speed up your website. And we realize that one of the ways we can improve that is with video covers uh, on top of your videos that you add to your page. We've already previously released this, so I'll quickly touch on it now and then show you the new features that we've added for this. So for video covers, when you add a video element to the page and you add, say here, I've got a YouTube link that I've added. Well, what this means is that when someone visits my website and they see this page, as the page loads, it's going to load the YouTube video scripts. That means it's all the code that is necessary to play the video on my website. It needs to get that code from YouTube, from Google. And that can slow down the loading of your page, especially if the user does not end up playing the video. It means you've slowed down the initial load and that user never needed it. So we added a video cover. And on the left-hand side here, you'll see this toggle. When I enable this, I'm given two options. The option on the right, thumbnail, is something that we had previously. You can add a thumbnail that sits over the top of your video. That meant that we didn't need to load the YouTube video scripts until users interacted with your video, until they clicked on the thumbnail. We also added a cover. This is structured a little bit differently and it gives you some more speed benefits to your site, which I'll show you in a second. And if you have the cover option selected and you click edit video cover, you can change all the content that sits on top of your video. You can literally add anything from an elements tray here. You can add images, buttons, columns. You can make this look however you want. But in our latest release, we've added some templates. So you'll see here on the left-hand side, currently it's displaying the default cover. If I click on this, You'll see there's a handful of pre-built templates from our designers. I'm gonna choose this one down here and go replace template. 
Now that this has loaded over the top of my video, it is smart color enabled, which means if I change the smart colors for my website or for this landing page, it will pick the same color. So you'll see how it's using the same orange that we have for other content on the page right here in the video cover itself. I can change that background image just by selecting right here and I can pick anything in my media library. Or I can change that video thumbnail to use a featured image. So let's say you're going to create a custom uh, video post template in Thrive Theme Builder. For each post on your website that loads that template, you'll have a different featured image for those videos. So by selecting featured image here, it will pull in dynamically the featured video set for that post and display it right underneath this click to play title. And when you do add any of these images, another new feature we've added is an image overlay color. So we'll see if I enable this, I can set a dark overlay or I can change that to a lighter overlay if I prefer. Or of course I can just switch that off if I'm quite happy to show the image exactly how it is. Maybe you're wondering how exactly does a video cover affect the speed of your website? Well, let me show you. This could look a little technical, but I'll keep it as simple as I can. Here is a page that I've just loaded and it has a video with a video cover on it. I'm going to go under the inspect options in my Chrome browser. I'm going to choose network. Now this page has fully loaded. So because it has already loaded, there is no network activity right now. But if I click on this video, Watch what happens. As I click play, the video fires up. I'm gonna pause that. And look at down here. These are all the scripts from YouTube that have loaded after the user has engaged with that video. Now, if you're not using video covers or thumbnails and you just have your video sitting on the website, it's a regular YouTube embed, then all of these scripts would load as soon as the visitor visits your web page. That means it's extra load time. That means it's extra file size that you need to download as well. And all of that can inhibit how quickly the page loads, even though the user hasn't shown a sign of wanting to interact with the video. So by using these video covers, we defer the loading of those scripts until we know that the user wants to watch a video. It just means a faster initial load and a cleaner way to kind of distribute the scripts and code on your website. So that's a quick summary of video covers and all the beautiful new template designs that our designers have built. Now onto the fourth and final new feature in our latest round of updates, and that is the ability to style the appearance of notifications on your website. Once you've updated to the latest version of our plugins and you come to Thrive Dashboard, on the left-hand side here, and you scroll to the very bottom, and you'll find global elements. When you click on this card, you will see your global element previewer. And there are four options that we had before and a new fifth one, notification toasts. Global elements is a place that you can view all the content, templates, symbols and blocks, headers and footers that you have saved across your website. But this new option here, notification toasts, allows you to change the global style and appearance of notifications that um, that display when people log into your website, fill out forms or mark lessons as complete in Thrive Apprentice. The first time you come to the notification toast tab, you'll see that default templates are currently applied. These are our hard coded templates that we've used in Thrive Tools for years. But when you're ready to make the change, you can come down here and enable custom templates. By hovering over here, you can click edit template and this should look familiar. I have it open in another tab already you'll get the architect editor that allows you to style your notification. You'll see we have a gray and white check in background. That's because you aren't setting the appearance of the background. This notification will appear on top of whatever page has triggered that notification. So we're just styling the notification itself. You can change what position it's gonna be on the screen, top left, top middle, center, etc. You can change the spacing, so how far it sits from the edge of the screen the animation direction, how it enters and leaves the viewport, and how long it will display on screen. When you're ready to style it, you can click Edit Design and then make whatever changes you want. So let's say, for example, we'll go borders and corners and we'll give our notification some rounded borders. And maybe this icon on the left, I want this to be rounded as well. So I can change it just like that. 
I can pop any other elements I want in here as well. But this text area here, this is dynamic text. Right now it says success message, but the text that will display depends on the purpose of the notification. So if they've marked a lesson as complete, it will say, you know, successfully completed the lesson. If they've just logged in, it will say login successful or something like that. So the text is fed through from the source of the notification, but I can still apply all the typography styling changes that I want. So under main options here, I can change the font, the color, the size, the spacing, everything like that. I can change how it looks on different screen sizes, uh, desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. And you'll notice while I'm in the editing mode, in this edit bar, we have an option in the middle here. Currently, I'm editing the success uh, style of the notice, but I can change this to the warning message or the error message. So you can make individual style changes to all three of the notification types. Once you're done, I can always click reset style to default to return to um, the previous appearance of it. But if I'm happy with this and I click save work, and while that's saving, I'm gonna return here and apply my new template. Now I'm gonna show you how this will look. All right, so here I am previewing a lesson and I can see that this lesson called on-page SEO, this is an, an incomplete lesson. That means as a user, I have yet to mark it as complete. So I click mark lesson complete. Let's look and see at the top. There's my new notification that's just told me the lesson has been completed. That means with a new notification editor, you can make sure that the appearance of those notifications fit with the style and branding of your website. So that's the last of our four new features. And just to summarize those again, that is new trigger conditions in Thrive Automator, a new send webhook action in Thrive Automator, new video cover templates, and the ability to style front end notifications. I hope you like these new updates and as always, we love hearing from you. So please leave a comment on this video and on the blog post, let us know what you liked, uh, what other improvements you'd like to see and how we can help you build a better business with Thrive Tools.